Hey guys, Chaps here, and today I've got a nice video for all of you PC players out there. If you're like me, you would love to play Gears 4 on PC, but you're unable to do so because it keeps freezing or crashing to desktop. The Coalition has been hard at work discussing this with Nvidia, but unfortunately a lot of us just simply aren't able to play on our PCs at this time. Well, luckily my buddy Broadband has offered to show us a few of the fixes and workarounds to hopefully get things working. For those not familiar, Broadband is a moderator of the Gears PC Discord and is one of the brains behind the Packstats tool that I showed off a while back. But now, let's look at the problems. There's two major issues, and a few smaller ones, facing the PC players currently. Most of these are faced by people using the NVIDIA GTX 10 series cards, but there's a few people, like myself, who are having issues on a 970. If you're using AMD, you're probably not having these issues. Lucky you. But if you are having issues, feel free to post below or head over to the Gears PC Discord, which I also have linked below. This video is going to be broken down into three segments. First up is for those of you who crash when the splash screen occurs, so you can't even get into the game. Second, we'll have some discussion for those of you who can load up the game, but it seems to randomly freeze and crash on you while playing. And lastly, we're going to look at some of the other miscellaneous solutions and workarounds. Alright, back to the first issue, crashing at the splash screen. This is a UWP license issue that causes a CTD, or crash to desktop, when opening Gears 4. The good news is that there's a workaround. All you need to do is go to the Windows Store while logged in as the same user which owns Gears 4, and download another free game, like Sonic Dash or Candy Crush or something like that. As soon as this starts downloading, try to open Gears 4 and it should get past the splash screen for you. So yeah, that's the good news, but of course there's bad news, as it's just a workaround. The bad news is that you might have to do this every time you want to launch Gears 4. Sorry, this is just a workaround at this point, so hopefully it gets fixed properly soon. The next major issue is for those of you who are able to play, but the game just randomly freezes on you at times. For this one, the fix should be pretty easy, but the hard part is keeping the fix working. What you want to do is downgrade your drivers to versions 358.53 or something older. The link to this can be found in the description. The other thing I want to add about this driver reset is that 358.53 is actually so old that it's not officially supported by Windows 10 anymore. Everything still runs just fine, not just on Gears, but most other games as well. But after the Fall Creators update, Windows doesn't officially support this driver anymore. So yeah, you're going to have to downgrade the driver a little bit. If you're not willing to do that, then sorry. But this is the only workaround we know of at the time, and that's the price you gotta pay if you want to get in on that sweet Gears action. So to check your current drivers, you're going to want to either open the GeForce Experience app and check your current driver as I'm doing here. Or you're going to want to go to Add and Remove Programs and search on NV and find the latest driver shown. This seems like an easy enough fix, but unfortunately Windows likes to go full ninja and auto-update back to the latest version. You can even be playing on this old driver and have everything seem fine while Windows installs the new one in the background, but as soon as it finishes installing that new one and it deletes the old driver, the game's gonna crash and you're back to square one. Luckily, there's a workaround for this. You can disable the NVIDIA driver from being updated automatically. There's a few ways to do this, some more reliable than others, but this method seems to work for everyone. Hit the Windows key and search for gpedit.msc. You should see the edit group policy thing come up. Navigate to local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and then to Windows update. You're then going to go to configure automatic updates. Now click to enable this and choose option 5 which will allow local admins to choose settings. For a description of all the settings just look at this list over here on the right. Lastly, you want to enable Do Not Include Drivers with Windows Updates. This will stop Windows Update from downloading manufacturer's drivers, like the NVIDIA ones that are causing our issues. Finally, you should download an official Microsoft tool called WU Show Hide, which essentially allows you to show and hide Windows Updates. The link for this is also in the description. Once the diagnostics have run, select Hide Updates and select all of the NVIDIA ones. And there you have it. That's it. Windows is no longer going to update the NVIDIA drivers automatically in the background. To double check all of your settings have been applied properly, you can simply check by hitting the Windows key and searching check for updates. Next, go to viewed configured update policies, then check to see that all of your policies have been updated. 
Ignore the first one here, that's just something Dell has on his computer, but make sure these last two are shown. Now that we've looked at these two larger issues, let's take a look at some of the smaller miscellaneous fixes. To start with, we have the infamous Bigelow error. This is actually an issue tied to your gamer tag, and has nothing to do with your console, PC, or hardware as far as we know. To fix this issue, just create a new Xbox Live account. On PC, it's free to play online, so just make a new email account, and on Xbox One, it's free as long as the primary account on that console has gold. Of course, this fix kinda sucks for anyone looking to progress on their account, but at least you'll be able to play, right? If you really want your account fixed, all you can do at this time is go to the official Gears forums and post your information and hope for the best. Good luck. Another issue that people might run into is that their GPU or CPU is being overworked. This may be due to the game DVR. To disable the game bar and background recording, go to Windows Settings, Gaming, Game Bar, and turn off Record Game Clips, Screenshots, and Broadcasting using Game Bar. Then navigate to the game DVR in the sidebar of the gaming menu, and turn off the option to record in the background while playing a game. And with that, I think we've covered most of the main issues. At this time, TC is still working with NVIDIA to solve the issues, but their current suggestion is just to follow these steps. Uninstall the app from the app list, or uninstall from apps and features. Turn off your PC, wait 10 minutes, and turn your PC on again. Then install the game from the game store. That's not exactly the most promising solution, but if all else fails, maybe it will work for you. Thanks again to Broadband for compiling this info and helping me out with the video. As I said earlier, if you're a PC player, be sure to hop into the PC Discord where there's currently over a thousand members and you'll find plenty of people to play with and a lot of others willing to help you fix your game issues. Also, the PC Discord is hosting a 1v1 tournament this weekend, Saturday, February 10th, so if you've got all of your issues fixed, head over there and try a chance at the $100 prize. Registration is still open, and the registration link is in the description. If you guys found this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe for more content. I'll catch you all next time, and thanks for watching.